Whoops. Um, why isn't it restarting? Oh, you have to play stupid. Okay. <laughs> uh, that might have given it away, but then so did the, you know, title. The title screen probably gives it away, too. So, yeah. I probably need to get a heck of a lot closer to my microphone, too. Hello and welcome, everyone. This is Ryan Seichi, as, you know, per usual. And, uh, you may have noticed that, um... Final Fantasy XIV isn't coming out because I didn't renew my subscription because I'm waiting for Heaven's Ward and I kind of don't want to spend $15 on it. So we're going to be playing this and this will probably go in conjunction with Final Fantasy even when I restart it. But welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, which I have wanted to do for quite a while actually. <laughs> so I'm glad to finally get the chance to play it. Um, I noticed when I was recording that the game audio seemed really loud, and then I realized I can actually adjust that in Camtasia later, <laughs> so... <coughs> yeah, I, I felt pretty dumb there. Actually, um, I could probably also bring up my audio, but I'll try and talk loud, proud, clear, you know, all that good stuff. Well, as clear as a scratchy throat can be, <laughs> right? But, um, this is going to be the first prologue type zero episode just like with blue mystery dungeon we're going to be starting this off with um an intro of types that just you know make sure my controller is working here good all right so we're going to be starting with this screen that talks about quests and you can see that i have gained a new ability i can't actually um, tell how I'm going to zoom this in post, <laughs> so, yeah, but, um, I figured out that I can actually just zoom this in and take up, like, the entirety of the screen instead of just the small part, like, having the border, which is, you know, cool and all, but it probably makes it a lot easier if a little pixelier, um, to see it zoomed in, so I'm gonna be trying that out and tell me what you guys think. Anyway, Many fresh adventures and stuff await beyond our arrival, but we need to answer a bunch of questions. And this is where you guys come in. So there are uh, quite a few choices for... Oh yeah, um, I don't know if this question actually affects anything. Oh yeah, right. Joystick only. Um, I'm probably gonna change that back to D-pad, actually. But... Uh, so... As per usual... Well, I mean, they actually did away with it in Gates to Infinity, but, um, with Blue Mist- the Blue Rescue Team, you had a series of questions and they would decide what kind of Pokemon you'd be, and that's the same with this one as well. Now, um, I can't actually bring it up on my computer, so I'm going to do it on my phone, because I can do that. Because there are quite a few different choices, and I'll also have a poll in the description down below. Um, as well as on my Facebook, because I want more people to see it. But, uh, let's see. So, Explorers of Sky... Pokemon choices? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Um, I'm only going to be doing the female choices, by the way. Because, as per usual, I'm going to be playing as a female character. And if anyone has a problem with that, you are kindly set to leave. Because I usually play the female. In case anyone has seen, you know, Summon Night Mystery Dungeon. Or, wow, where'd that name come from? <laughs> Summon Night Swordcraft Story. Uh, the first Mystery Dungeon. Etc. 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 So, um, I kind of don't want to play as Eevee again, but, you know, it's, it's a choice. So, the choices are, my goodness, okay. Uh, also there's two that can only be partners, interestingly enough. But we have all the starters, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, um, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Totodile, Trico, Torchic, Mudkip, this is also not going to be the order in the poll because we've got a different order on this site. But, um, <coughs> where did I leave off? Turtwig, Chimchar, and Piplup, the new additions to, um, Explorers. 
and a bunch of other ones that were added with Explorers of Sky, I believe, except maybe Pikachu. I'm pretty sure Pikachu was in uh, Darkness and the other one, Time, as well. I played Darkness, just so you know. Uh, so let's see. You have Pikachu, Vulpix, Eevee, as per usual. Uh, Fan P. Skitty, Turtwig. No, I said Turtwig. Uh, Shinx and Riolu. And two of them that can only be partners are Meowth and Munchlax. Now, thankfully, um, your partner can be anything as long as it's not you. You can't have two Eevees, as awesome as that would be. We'd also have two normal types and probably get utterly wrecked by all the bosses. So, uh, kind of would like to avoid doing that. But yeah, so those are all the choices. So, you have until... Uh, I don't want to make it only 24 hours, but at the same time, I kind of want to start this sometime soon. Well, I can play a different game in the meantime. So, um, you have until Tuesday, June the 9th at um, noon mountain time. Yes, that sounds like a good end of the poll there. Um, I'll post an annotation at the end end of the voting when this is up or you'll just know when the first episode comes out and I choose my Pokemon because then the poll won't matter, right? So, yeah. So, go ahead and vote. It's completely free. You don't have to, like, sign up for anything or anything. Just click on the poll and vote. It's pretty simple. Um, there will probably be two separate polls. Yeah. Um, if the same Pokemon were to win both polls, which... If that happens, I don't even know. But <coughs> the winning Pokemon will be what we choose to start as, and the partner Pokemon will be second place. So that seems fair to me, I think. So until then, uh, later, guys.